Waheguru Ji Ka Khalsa, Waheguru Ji Ki Fateh. It's a pleasure having Jenny Wilmot, the MP, Right Honourable MP from Cardiff Central, here in Cardiff. Today we're at the NSYF exhibition here in Cardiff and it's great. We've learned a lot from the exhibition, Jenny, and thank you very much for your time. Um, you must be passionate about human rights and the abuses of human rights around the globe, but have you learned much about the human rights abuses in India today? I've, abs I've learned a huge amount. It, there was an awful lot that, you know, I remember the headlines at the time and I you know, know probably as much as most people in Britain, which is not very much, so I found it extremely interesting seeing the exhibition today. Um, more recently, um, if we're looking at India in the 21st century, uh, the police, if we're just taking one example of human rights abuses, um, there, there are incidents when police just stand around, watch 400 Dalit houses being burnt down, when they've attended uh, Sikh demonstrations where they have a shoot to kill policy and a young youth has been shot. Um, but when you're flouting the law, when the law is there to protect you, and the state doesn't do it. Um, what do you have to say about such practices? Well, in the UK, we have a uh, you know, very strong tradition that if there is um, an event that involves the police or other parts of the state, we always have investigations afterwards and inquiries to see what happened and to see if there are lessons that need to be learned and things put right. Um, it strikes me that if the, po if the population is to have faith in the police and other parts of the state, that you need to make sure that it's open and transparent and that you have inquiries when something does go wrong so you can learn the lessons and people have faith in those institutions. It's sad that India hasn't been learning the lesson because this, this has been going on for decades now and um, more concerning lately has been the, uh, the death penalty the issue of the death penalty. Um, they've had the last hang hanging only about 10 days ago, um, but we're really concerned about the uh, the the Sikhs on the on death row at the moment, Balwant Singh Rajuan and Professor Puller. Um, and uh, first of all, what would you like to say about the death penalty? And the uh, are you against the abolition or for the abolition of the death penalty? Completely in favour of abolishing the death penalty wherever it is around the world, whether it's India, whether it's China, whether it's America, um, is something I feel very strongly about and I know a large number of my colleagues in Parliament do as well. Um, there is a very powerful group in Parliament, an all-party group, campaigning to abolish the death penalty wherever it is across the world um, and I certainly agree with everything that they say and I would like to see an end to executions everywhere. It's part of, uh, well, one of the uh, main issues in the campaign of the Kesri Lahar where we've got 118,000 signatures and we will be handing that into Parliament. But um, what else do you think that the youth and the middle-aged folk like myself and the elders in our community here in England, what, what advice can you give them um, uh, how we can um, really become politically active and get, get, get something done on this issue? Well, I think having raised such a large number of signatures on a petition is an extremely powerful statement in itself, just quite how many people agree with you. Having a debate in, in, the, in Parliament itself would really raise the profile. And I think raising it with ministers as well, um, either through things like early day motions or the debate, but also writing directly to the minister, um, as I have done, um, I think is important too, because the British authorities, the British Foreign Office, have... Um, discussions with the Indian authorities all the time about a whole range of issues and we want to make sure that issues like um, the death penalty are on the agenda so that when they when William Hague is talking to his counterpart in India he's raising it so that they know in India what the views of the British government are and the more people uh, across the UK who can either write to their MP or write to the ministers I think that really gets people's voices heard as well. Thank you very much, Jenny. I didn't realise that you were, you had already written to the Foreign Commonwealth Office, so thank you very much for that. But um, uh, what further can you do to help help the Kesri Laha, the petition? Would you be uh, coming down on the 10th of December when we hand in the petition to 10 Downing Street and uh, we've got a meeting in room number 12 um, at half past three? <coughs> If I'm available, I will absolutely be there. I've already had a number of constituents from my particular area come to see me about the motion, about the petition and about the issues that they raise, which is why I wrote to the minister before. You've done an exceptional job at getting people across the UK motivated and, and doing things like seeing their MP. Um, if, if there's anything more that I can do in Parliament, of course I shall do it.
Jenny, thank you very much for those words of assurance. And there's a lot that needs to be done. Well, after we've uh, handed the uh, petition in, um, David Cameron did say his idea of the big society, um, and it's a great idea, that if we hand in the petition, those ideas, those thoughts will be taken seriously and we hope to invoke a debate. Is there anything you could help with that? Well, I'm sure that a, a number of colleagues across Parliament will be um, putting... Uh, the point to the backbench committee, which is the committee that decides what should be debated amongst the petitions. Um, unfortunately, I'm not a backbencher. I'm a, I'm a government minister, so I'm not allowed to make representations, but a number of my colleagues will. To be honest, if you have 118,000 signatures and as an organised a campaign as you have, I'd be extremely <coughs> surprised if it wasn't debated in the, in the House of Commons. Um, and I definitely would look forward to seeing that debate. Um, I know the Sikh community in Wales, in England in the whole of the UK um, support what Jenny said and would like to thank her from the bottom of our hearts and when I say the Sikhs, the Punjabi community and all the smaller minorities who this petition represents. Thank you very much for giving up your time this morning Jenny and uh, we hope to see more of you and keep up the campaign. Thank you very much. Wahiguruji ka khalsa, Wahiguruji ki fateh.